Welcome to Do It Yourself Travel Plan, video cast brought to you by Tip Weller. This series of video cast will provide you information about self-executive plans for a person or a family without the involvement of any tour operator. And today's video cast is about visiting Hunza and Khunjara Pass. The starting point for this trip will be Rawalpindi. You can reach Rawalpindi by coach, by air or you can also ride on a train to Rawalpindi. For how to reach Rawalpindi, check my other video cast by the title How to reach Rawalpindi. It is better to reach Rawalpindi a day or two before starting your trip. Rawalpindi, commonly known as Pindi, is a city in Punjab adjacent to capital Islamabad. It also acts as a central point for travelers who wish to travel toward northern areas, Kashmir or Khyber Pakhtun region. There are various places in Rawalpindi and Islamabad that are worth visiting. There are numerous expensive as well as budget hotels and restaurant in Pindi so one can stay effectively for whatever length of time that one wishes. On day 1 of your trip, wake up early in the morning, have breakfast and collect your luggage. This is the day from when your trip to Hunza and Khunjab will begin. For this trip, you need to hire a car. You can either hire a car from different rental car services in Pindi and Islamabad or you can go to Pir Wadhai or Faizabad in Rawalpindi where you can hire a private car. From Rawalpindi, you will be traveling on some part of the famous Karakoram highway. Journey toward Mansehra itself is very adventurous. Since this part of Pakistan is mountainous, you will be ascending up the hills, crossing many small towns, rivers and green forests. If you like my video, remember to click on the like button. and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting do it yourself travel plans after nearly 4 hours of drive you will reach mansehra mansehra is a small city situated between the high mountains on the way you can ask your car driver to stop at afshar hotel and restaurant at kiwai and there you can either have lunch or just tea and snacks You can also stop at some riverside restaurant for a lunch or just to dip your feet in River Kunhar. The Kunhar River with its crystal clear water from the glaciers and the famous orange and pink trout fish passes through this valley and is considered the most prominent feature of this valley. The route to Naran is stunning and passes through the most beautiful valley of Kagan. The valley is also famous for its pine forest, alpine meadows, crystal clear lakes and cool water streams. After nearly 2 hours of drive from Kiwai you will reach Naran. Roam around the Naran Bazaar. Have a nice dinner and a good night sleep. Wake up for the beautiful morning at Naran. Have your breakfast and ride for today's trip. On day 2 you will be traveling a long journey to Hunza by crossing Batakundi, Jhelkat, Payal Lake, Lulusar Lake and the famous Babusar Pass. You will be traveling on the most astonishing route of this region where you can observe the snow covered mountains, lush green forest, grassy lands and waterfalls. You will see many waterfalls on the way, but a three step waterfall at Batakundi is most amazing. You can stop there for a photo shoot before continuing your journey toward Lalazar again.
On the way toward Babusar, you can stop for a tea break at Jalkad, another very stunning spot on this route. Take some photo shoots and start your journey again. Nearby Jalkad, there is also a lake by the name Piala Lake, known for its shape resembling to a bowl. Few kilometers after Jalkad, you will stop at another famous lake of Kagan Valley, the Lulusar Lake. At about 11,000 feet, it is primary headwaters of Kunhar River. With mirror-like water reflecting the surrounding snow-capped Lulusar Mountain, it is believed to be the biggest lake in Kagan Valley. As you would be ascending toward Babuza Pass, the weather would be getting colder and colder, so remember to keep warm clothes with you. Ascending up the mountains and crossing beautiful surroundings, you will reach the Babuza Pass after nearly 2 hours of drive from Batagundi. Wander around the Babusar Pass, have some snacks and tea while viewing the beautiful surrounding. Babuzar Top near Babuzar Pass is the highest point in Kagan Valley at the height of about 13,700 feet. You can climb up to the Babuzar Top for the magnificent view of the region. In clear weather, you can even sight the Rakaposhi and Nagaparbat mountain from this spot. The weather at Babuzar Pass is always cold and windy and has frequent snowfall and rain all around the year. And in winters, this pass becomes completely blocked due to heavy snowfall. From Babusar Pass, you will start descending toward Chilas. On the way to Chilas, there is a beautiful spot by the name Babusar Gah, where you can stop for some photographs. In about 2 hours, you will reach Chilas. Chilas is a town at Karakaram Highway and is an important point for those travelling toward Gilgil Baltistan. At Chilas, you can stop for a lunch or a tea break or you can continue your journey toward Girgit. The road from Chilas to Raikot Bridge is little rough and you will be travelling parallel to mighty river Indus. After crossing Raikot Bridge and Jaglod, you will reach Nanga Parbat viewpoint. This is the first place during your journey from where you can sight the peak of Nanga Parbat. Few kilometers after Nanga Parbat viewpoint, you will reach another magnificent spot. This is the spot where Gilgit River meets River Indus. It is also a glorious junction of Himalaya, Karakaram, and Hindu Kush ranges. Spend some memorable time at this location and drive again toward Gilgit.
Driving on the marvelous Karakaram Highway, you will reach Gilgit city in about 6 hours from Naran. From here, either you can continue your journey toward Hunza or enter into Gilgit city to take some rest. Return to Karakaram Highway and start your journey toward Hunza. You are now travelling toward the most beautiful region of Pakistan and on the way you will be crossing many stunning places adjacent to Karakoram Highway and the most popular place is Nomal. It is one of the most beautiful towns surrounded with green trees, high mountains and the Gilgit river flows nearby. Nomal is more famous because of the route that goes to Naltar Valley. Reaching near to Hunza, you can also stop at Rakaposhi viewpoint. Rakaposhi, also known as the crown of Hunza and Naga Valley, is the 12th highest peak in Pakistan and the 27th in the world with the height of 7,800 meters. In about 2 hours from Gilgit, you will reach Hunza Valley. And few kilometers after Aliabad, there is a road on the left side of the Karakaram Highway going up on the mountain. Take the left turn and you will reach Karimabad Hunza. Get a room and place your luggage. This is the place where you will spend 3 nights of your trip. Look outside your hotel. You are at the heaven on earth. If you have time, try to visit the Baltic Fort, as the closing time for Baltic Fort is 5.30 pm and it takes nearly 30 minutes of walk till the Baltic Fort. On your return from Baltic Fort, you can visit the Karimabad Bazaar. Wander around the bazaar and enjoy the stunning evening of Karimabad. Have a nice dinner and a peaceful sleep at the heaven on earth. For rest of the trip watch the next part.